And now it's time for our, our weekly Sunday sit-down in our studio tonight. is starting quarterback of the San Diego State Aztecs and one of the ten men to have his name etched on the side of the prestigious silver pigskin. Ryan Lovey, you know I had to mention that, right? Uh, and thanks for coming in on your Sunday. I'm sure there's other things to do than being here at KSI. Let's, uh, first of all, what does a starting quarterback for you know a Division One football team do during the summer? You know we're uh, we're doing workouts right now and, and we're uh, we're working pretty hard about five days a week out there and uh, most of the guys are taking summer school classes so it's kind of it's it's nothing out of the ordinary it's kind of the same thing year round it's a year round job and uh, it's exciting though we have fun and uh, you still have fun with the summer months and especially being in San Diego try to go down to the beach and have a little fun with that. Now you I know you talk about it. it's kind of like a job but no most of us don't realize that they make all you guys take summer school classes like, yeah there's really no summer for you yeah you know I mean it, it, it helps to getting ahead with your degree and uh, some guys you know got to finish up in four years take those extra classes and uh, it's really productive for you keep you sharp and uh, you have fun with it too yeah. now I know you've been doing all the workouts and spring practice finished a couple about a month ago or whatever now you're waiting for fall practice is this the hardest time right now because I'm sure you just want to get out there and play football right yeah you know it's always the best when you got the pass on and, and everybody's hitting out there and you're doing the real thing but you know it's it's the necessary thing right now the guys are working hard and you got to get ready physically and mentally with with the stuff we're doing in the weight room for for the fall season and uh we just all can't wait for September to roll around and start playing the real games. Now, uh, your freshman year, pretty good numbers. You had 2,600-plus yards passing, 16 touchdowns in 11 games. I mean, obviously, that has to give you a lot more confidence going into your sophomore year, you know, with your second season starting. Yeah, you know, it is. And I think uh, one of the main things is we've got a lot of guys coming back. We've got a lot of guys that, are, that made some big plays last year, made an impact last year coming back that uh, I think the offense can do really well. And, and the defense really thrived in spring ball, I think, as far as what they grasp Coach Long's system. And uh, I'm really excited for what's to come this year and, and the chances and opportunities we have. Now, we can't talk about this year's team without talking about your new coach, uh, Coach Hoke. Uh, he set the bar pretty high. I just remember the guys talking about the first day. A couple guys came late. Yeah. He locked them out of the meeting. I mean, did that simple little act kind of tell everybody, this is what I expect from you? Yeah, you know, first impressions were huge. And, and it was rough for those guys that showed up late. But, but he gave us one, too, at the same time with what he did. And, uh, you know, he, he hasn't let up. He's a, he's a strict disciplinarian. But uh, it's something we really need as a team. It's something that we've lacked lacked in the past and I think uh, everything that he's doing right now with him and Coach Bowman the whole staff is really just uh, shooting us taking us to that next level that we want to get to is he a fiery guy what kind of coach is he he definitely is but you know at the same time he's almost like he's a, he's a father figure out there because he'll uh, you know you do something wrong just like your dad when you're young he'll, he'll get in you and, and he'll make you regret it but at the same time you know if you do something right and and you do something that's going to that's gonna help the team out, help him out, then uh, he's definitely going to give you a pat on the back and tell you how good of a job you did. Now, it's been a while since the Aztecs had a winning team. 1998, I think, the Las Vegas Bowl was the last time they were in a bowl game. So kind of there's there's been that kind of expectation of not winning over there. Um, and I heard somebody say that basically when you guys are winning, you're just waiting for bad things to happen. Uh, how, how do you change the psyche? How do you change the mentality of the whole football team because I mean you've got to change the psyche of 100 guys mm -hmm. yeah you know I think that's one of the big things this year senior class has done they've uh, this summer really taken over leadership and really uh, brought everybody from the freshmen coming in to, to their own class the seniors up that it's all about accountability we need to we need to just you know dish that losing record and dish all the losing attitude and, and just really uh, work on teamwork and I think that's the biggest thing we've been doing this summer is, is being accountable to each other and, and just being ready to for the good things to happen to keep that keep them happening and just uh, have a positive attitude and get ready for everything to do well now I'm sure there's some weight on your shoulders because you're talking about the seniors being leaders but as the quarterback of a football team you're also a leader too I mean is it kind of strange you're you know you're sitting here 20 years old and you're a leader of a football team you know it's uh it's something that along with the job like you said a uh, quarterback's really a, a centerpiece I guess you could say but but I like to just you know I'm right now being a sophomore and, and I really kind of leave it up to these senior guys and they're doing a great job and I mean there's there's things that I jump in and I do but at the same time I really uh I really enjoy having guys like Kaika and Peter Nelson step up and Roberto Wallace and Marco Sampson they really can can take control of the team and, and, and get guys going in the right direction and at the same time when, when we get in the huddle I'm, I'm willing to do the same thing so it's really great having guys around you that can do that too now uh Basically, what all of us San Diego State alums want to know is, what's it going to take so we can actually travel in December and go see a bowl game? What, what's it going to take you guys this year to get into that bowl game? You know, perseverance and getting over adversity. That's one of the biggest things, like you said, with, with having the losing attitude is, is when stuff gets hard, you, if you fold, that, that's not going to work. You know, especially in college football with, with how much parity there is. I mean, everybody can win every, every Saturday. And I think it's, it's all about the attitude and the mentality you bring, you bring on the field. So really, we're just trying to change that. And, 
and, and bring it up and, like you said, trying to play in December and get a bowl game. Now we have about 30 seconds. Who's going to surprise some people this year? Who are we going to see on the Aztecs that's, that's you know, we're going to go, wow, that, where that guy come from? You know, I think a lot of guys on the defense. With, with this new defense, Coach Long's running, it's a lot of, you know, you're, you're going 100 miles an hour all the time. There's going to be a lot of guys rotating in and out. I think there's going to be some guys like Miles Burris, some young linebackers that are really going to shine. I think it, as long as well as the senior guys, the older guys are really doing well. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. And also on offense, we got the same old guys coming back, which I think Roberto's going to do real well this year, and so is BJ. Cool. Ryan, we're out of time. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in. Ryan Lindley, the quarterback of the San Diego State Aztecs, who I'm predicting will go to a bowl game this year.